Gordon and Ferdinand. Gordon is a grand engine. Bash Dash and Ferdinand are new engines on the island of Sodor. On Misty Island, they bashed and they crashed, which Gordon would never do. But they all want to be really useful engines on Sir Topham Hatt's railroad. One morning, Gordon was delivering freight at Brendam Docks. Hello, Thomas. Good morning, Gordon. It's busy here. Gordon grunted grandly. Luckily, Sir Topham Hatt has a very special special for me. Soon, I shall be away from all of this. Gordon sniffed at Bash, Dash, and Ferdinand. They were busy bashing cars. One biff, one bash, and there's never a crash. That's right. Then, Sir Topham Hatt arrived. Bash, Dash, and Ferdinand, you have shown me that you are really useful engines. So, I have decided to give you each a reward to welcome you to my railroad. Oh, me! Oh, my! That's right. Ferdinand, your reward is first. You are to share Gordon's special. Ferdinand's pistons pumped with pride. Gordon's pride was in pieces. The Duke and Duchess of Boxford are taking the statue of the Lion of Sodor for the summer. You, Gordon, will take the lion from Knapford to the summer house. Ferdinand will be your back engine. But, sir, hurry, please. The Duke and Duchess are waiting. That's right. Later, Gordon was coupled up to the Lion of Sodor. Gordon was grumpy. Cheer up, Gordon. Everyone will want to see you and the Lion of Sodor. Gordon huffed huffily. Gordon didn't want to share his very special special with funny, frumpy Ferdinand. Oh, the indignity. Gordon and Ferdinand huffed to a junction. The Lion of Sodor jiggled and juddered. Then, an idea burst in Gordon's boiler. I don't want anyone to see me with funny, frumpy Ferdinand. I am Gordon. I am fastest and best, and I pull the express. So, Gordon decided to take the quiet track to the Duke and Duchess's summer house. Now, no one will see me. Gordon chuffed cheerfully. There was no one around. Gordon was pleased with his plan. Then, Gordon saw track works ahead and a group of workmen. Bother! Gordon had to stop. The workmen stopped too. They peered and they cheered. They whispered with wonder. Not at Gordon, not at the Lion of Sodor, but at Ferdinand. Hey, hello. Ferdinand smiled. Gordon grumped more. This is not my plan. And Gordon pulled slowly past the waving workman. I am Gordon. I'm fastest and best, and I pull the express. Gordon and Ferdinand rattled and raced to a junction. The Lion of Soto wobbled and wiggled on the flatbed. The track to Marin Station will be quiet. No one will see me with funny, frumpy Ferdinand. Gordon huffed happily along. There was no one around. Gordon was pleased with his plan. But at Marin Station, there were lots of people. Dowager Hat and a group of children were waiting for Thomas. Stop, Gordon! Who are you? Ferdinand. The children peered and cheered. They whispered with wonder. Not at Gordon, not at the Lion of Sodor, but at <laughs> Ferdinand. You are a fine engine, Ferdinand. Ferdinand's firebox fizzed and whizzed. Gordon's flickered and flashed. This is not my plan. 
Gordon raced and rattled along the track. I am Gordon. I'm fastest and best and pull the express. Then another idea popped in his pistons. I'll take the track across the Fenland to the summer house. No one will see me there. Gordon was pleased with his plan. Gordon thundered across the Fenland. The tiny track creaked and cracked. Ferdinand puffed and panted. He was worried. You should slow down, Gordon. I don't listen to funny, frumpy engines. I am Gordon. I'm fastest and best and pull the express. Then there was trouble. Gordon hit a bump in the track. The flathead jumped, and with a splash and a crash, the Lion of Sodor tipped and toppled into the muddy marsh. Gordon heard the squelch and the squish. He screeched to a stop. I've lost the Lion of Sodor. It's a disaster. Oh, the indignity. That's right. Gordon groaned. I didn't want anyone to see me. And now no one can see me. And no one is here to help. Ferdinand smiled his funny smile. I'm here, Gordon. I can help. Gordon's wheels wobbled. Pumping pistons. I have been grumpy, Gordon. I thought I was grander than you. I was wrong. I see now you are a very grand friend. Ferdinand, would you help a funny, frumpy engine like me? Of course I will. I'll go and get Rocky right away. You look after Mr. Lion. And Ferdinand rattled away. Later, Rocky had lifted the Lion of Sodor onto the flatbed. Thank you, Rocky. Happy to help, Gordon. I'm sure Victor will have the lion glossy and gleaming in no time. That's, That's right. right. At the steamworks, Victor was happy. There you are, Gordon. The lion of Sodor is shining like a star. Thank you, Victor. Then Gordon gulped. Ferdinand, I have a plan. We will pull the lion of Sodor along all the busiest tracks to the summer house, and you will be the front engine. Ferdinand giggled and jiggled with joy. I am the luckiest engine on Sodor. So Gordon, Ferdinand, and the Lion of Sodor puffed proudly. Wherever they chuffed, they were cheered. Ferdinand felt very, very grand. At last, they arrived at the Duke and Duchess's summer house. The Duke and Duchess were surprised to see Ferdinand. Who are you? This is my friend, Ferdinand. Gordon grinned, and he couldn't have felt grander.